Today marks the last day of a Colorado institution, the National Western Stock Show. From rodeos to horse shows to livestock competitions, this year's show was packed with people even in those sub-zero temperatures. Denver 7's Adria Irahita has a look at this year's successes and the evolving future of the National Western Center. Months and months of training and prep work. Well, hopefully it turns out really good. Sometimes it goes backwards, but hopefully it turns out really good. For today's big moment. It's exciting. It's a lot of fun. I've been, been competing here since 1994, so it's a blast. As Cappy Pruitt and his teammate Nell take the floor during the stock dog portion of this year's National Western Stock Show. This year's stock show, one of the top 10 most attended. I think it's the history and the tradition of the National Western Stock Show that keep people coming back for generations. That's according to National Western Stock Show President Paul Andrews. Uh, every rodeo during that cold snap of zero degrees to minus 10 was completely sold out. I would venture to say that nowhere else in America, when the cold hits that hard, there is going to be a sold out rodeo across six in a row. And following this year's success, more growth with ongoing construction on a new livestock center and the legacy building. Just one more show in these kind of old areas of the buildings and then uh, most of our buildings will be renovated by 26. Making this Colorado tradition even more cherished for long timers. Hope everybody that's been coming is enjoying the, the stock show and hopefully it'll just keep growing and getting bigger. Adria Arahita, Denver 7.